Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Today we're going to talk a bit about how you can get the Chinese version. I gotta say that usually, generally, I don't like playing anything outside the English versions because, you know, I don't understand what they're writing. Um, you may have noticed, if you follow me for Dragon Ball Z or you actually seen any of my Dragon Ball Z videos, um, what happened was that they made two versions as well, right? One was a Japanese version, the other one was the English or global version as they call it uh, for Bandai. And what happened there was that, you know, I refused to play the Japanese version. So many people were like, dude, you should play the dra Japanese version. It's, um... You know, it's better because you get better rates and stuff like that, and it's improved. You know, there's better stuff. And unfortunately, I just refused to play it. And then, I don't know, I, like some of the viewers that I know, they started it, like, they started the game after me, and they got ahead of me, like, so quickly. I'm like, oh my god, are you serious? And I still refuse to play it till this day because, you know, I didn't understand it. Like, it's... It's not like I don't know how to play the game because, you know, it's a mobile game, right? It's pretty generic in terms of, you know, tap there and there. And if you played the English version, you probably know how to play the Japanese version as well. It's just that it's not that I don't support Japan. It's just that, you know, I'm not used to playing Japanese games or, well, I, <laughs> I do play Japanese games, but I'm not used to playing it in Japanese. That's something I like, something I don't like personally. And I just refuse to do it. So what happened with Dragon Ball Z was I fell behind in the English version because uh, everyone was getting everything in the Japanese version. It was just easier. There was better rates and stuff like that. And then the guys at Bandai was like, they're not obligated to make the Japanese version as well as the global version the same. So anyways, um, what happened then was that they came out with a new game called Digimon. And what happened there was like, all right. I was, I was thinking, hey, maybe I should wait until the English version, and then I was just like, forget it. And then started playing the Japanese version, and it worked out. I mean, you know, I pr I can play it. It's in Japanese. It's just that, you know, I, I can't see it in English. It kind of bothers me a bit, but then again, you know, it was just collecting Digimons. So, you know, obviously, I, it, I knew how to get around the game. So, you know, it was fine. Let's just say that. If you know how to get around the game, you should be completely fine. Anyways, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a bit about how you can get the Chinese version of Marvel Contest of Champions if you want the game, to get the game. Now, if you don't want to get it, you can, you know, it's completely fine. Uh, I went over some of the stuff that is different for... The Chinese version versus the global version and if you like the I guess if you like that version more then you know obviously you can play that version anyways let's go down in here I'm gonna show you how you can get the the game and I know a lot of people have been asking me I already made a video but thing is uh, I put it on the other channel and I think a lot of people can't find the channel so we're gonna make another video all right, so what you got to do is we're already on the Chinese app store. And essentially, what you need to do is you, you don't have to be in this app store. Just find a free game on your app store. Whatever app store it may be, it may be like, you know, Germany, Australia, or Japan. Like Japan doesn't have the – Japan is different from China if you're wondering. So even if you're – you have a Japanese account, it won't work. Uh, Korea or I don't know, wherever you are, right? You just find a free game, tap on it, and then go on into this thing and then, you know, click install. Then it will, it has to be free. Remember that, it has to be free. So click on install and then create a new Apple ID. So what you want to do then is scroll all the way to the bottom what will be selected is actually your current account, like, you know, whatever region or country your current account is in. Then select this thing here, this this drawing here. I think it says China. Essentially, uh, yeah, I think it should say China. This one is Japan, apparently, because I made a Japanese account before. So you select this one. This is what it looks like. Then you press next. You know, there will be a bunch of stuff here. Then you press agree. And then you agree. Now, this is the section that is obviously, you know, it's pretty much generic. 
you put in your email address, you verify questions and things like that, and then you press next again. All right, so we have to fill out the form, but essentially, you know, just fill out the information here um, and then go to next section. Now you might, like they might ask you for address and stuff like that. That's not, that's where you need to actually find something you can use and plug it in. That's pretty much it. And then you could go all, and then after you make the account, right? You're in the Chinese app store, which is where we are right now. If you type in Marvel, I don't think it will show up because they didn't call it Marvel. Future fight is here. Yeah. So if you type in contest of champions, it won't show up because it's not called contest of champions. I think it's called man something. Yeah. All right. So that's what you type in man. Why? That's why you, what, you, what you type in and then you'll find it right here. Or you could type in Kabam. Actually, let me try that. Yeah, type in Kabam. So that's what you get. You notice that they have these Hero of Camelot. These you these games used to belong to him them in you know in the other countries and stuff like that. But they sold it off. So the only game that Kabam has right now is Contest of Champions. So this is like their first release. And you know, essentially you just download it and there you go. That is about it for this video. Uh, please give a thumbs up if this video has helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll be back in the next video as we continue to check out more of this game. Uh, let me know what you think about this version. Personally, for me, I mean, you know, the, the economy, you know, ecosystem and stuff like that is just beginning. And everything is still relatively new. One of the greatest things that I think this version has is that it separates the player into multiple servers. Unlike this, uh, the international version where everybody around the world is clamped into one single server or one you know one game or whatever you call it this one has multiple servers um, which means that you have like servers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and and actually so far it's up to server 18 I'm on server 16 and 17 but I play 16 much more so no one can be the best if I play on 17 or 16 I am not going to be on server one which means that hey uh, if I like if I have 100 PI if I go to server one I'm gonna have zero so you know all the players are separated into different server which means the competition will be obviously less depending on the server how heavy the server is but anyways that is about it. That is how you get the Chinese version in the game. I just wanted to make this video because a lot of you have been asking me. And I was like, all right, let's make another video. Because, you know, I feel like, you know, it's just starting out right now. And for some of the new players, I noticed the new players don't really know this. But the version that is here right now is actually the initial release in 2014 of December uh, for the international version and what they did that was different is that they improved upon the initial release of that version like they added in I think it's faster the AI is certainly dumber so if you are a skilled player you go there you could basically if you have a hundred PI character you could beat a thousand PI because you just know how to swipe and do all the stuff like that so um, that's something that's really good also I noticed that the controls are I don't know, in my opinion, it's better because when I try to block, it works much better. Um, it's, I don't know, it might be my opinion. Again, it's faster for me. What else? I don't like this version because it's in Chinese. I, I'd rather have it in English because I don't even understand Chinese. Every time I see Chinese or any Asian character, like usually it's a turnoff for me and I don't play it, right? But I learned from Dragon Ball Z again. <laughs> you know, if I had, if I spent like, like I spent hundreds of dollars in Dragon Ball Z and I rarely got the, these SSRs, right? Not as much as players that played the Japanese version, which is, you know, where I was like, oh my God, are you serious? And, you know, I learned from that and I slowly learned from that, that I just, you select the better version or no, the version that gives more stuff, right? You, you select that version and you have less stress and you get more stuff. So anyways, um, I didn't play that far into the game yet. I'm not, once I get to level 50, I will know if this version gives more stuff because I'm not, I don't have any, I don't like, I, I can't get currency. I can't get, I can't buy anything. I have to play through the entire game to actually get it. But anyways, that is about it for this video. I just wanted to make this video for those viewers that want to get the Chinese version of the game if you don't want to get it that's completely fine i uh, just wanted to make this video to help you guys that is about it again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like the video guys
Hi everyone, that's the end of this video. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support more videos for this game. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and Instagram for the latest updates to what we're doing. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.